Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to solve Alma Petter's Python for Data Science Assignment Loops and Iterations. So let's get started. The SETI Institute is a not-for-profit research organization incorporated in 1984 whose mission is to explore, understand and explain the origin and nature of life in the universe and to apply the knowledge gained to inspire and guide present and future generations. It aims for discovery and for sharing knowledge as scientific ambassadors to the public, the press and the government. SETI stands for this thing. So SETI received some signals from a far away galaxy on June 14, 2012. These signals could have been from a possible alien civilization similar to what you would have seen in the movie Arrival. The signals indicate the existence of a secret language for sending messages across. Following are the observations made by the SETI team who discovered these signals. Aliens share a tuple. Each element of tuple will be a string of alphabets. Scientists still don't know what is the content of strings inside the tuple. but depending upon the length of the string the string translates into an alphabet so like from the childhood onwards we are doing this thing right a means one like that so till z 26 so so total alphabets are 26 right that's why we got uh, and we assigned zero to an empty one space between the words of the message is represented by an empty string so this is our like description a sample message received by SETI Adam Eve is denoted by the following tuple so this is a tuple so we are having these uh, strings in this tuple so what we are going to do so you can see we are just going to find the length of each string in this tuple. So if we convert them into the alphabets using this thing, so we got Adam Eve. So problem number one. So in in our previous tutorial, we did the same kind of thing, but uh, there we used a uh, general programming, like general Python programming we used to solve this thing but here what we are going to do we are going to use loops so you can see first we will discuss the first problem create a dictionary where the key corresponds to the position of the alphabet consider space as the first alphabet and the value corresponding to the key will be the alphabet range function in python is pretty useful to get a list of numbers in sequence we can use help of range to know more about these details so we, we already know range right so we are going to use range also here create your dictionary below with the keys as a position of the alphabet and the values of the keys will be the alphabet itself so we are what we are going to do so we are going to do this thing like this like here so this is a list of all alphabets with the empty space also and as you can see here here what we seen so same thing we have to do in the form of a dictionary with the keys and values pair so what i am doing create a list of numbers from 0 to 26 using the range function so in range numbers starts from 0 and last number minus 1 and we need till 26 only right that's why we are using 
so i am storing this particular values in list underscore of underscore numbers so list of range of 27 right now we got the numbers numbers list till 26 from 0 to 26 here create the list of alphabets hint use a split method so here you can see we are having a string and the string contains all alphabets so what i'm going to do alphabets dot split the comma so what i'm going to do it will just take all these things so it will just split the commas right then i'm going to print this thing as you can see create a dictionary by zipping together the about two list so we are going to use dict function and here you can see we are going to create a dictionary with these two things so i am just going to print this you can see so we are done with the first problem problem 2 scientists receive the following message code from the alien civilization so we got this thing so as we oh, as we did here what we did like mm, what we did here we just find out at first the length of each string right then we converted it into a alphabets so we got that message so same thing we are going to do here also so encrypted message equals to this thing tuple containing all strings so what i'm going to do i'm just going to follow these steps create an empty list so i just created an empty list string underscore length underscore list so this is an empty list append the length of the strings of your tuple using the for loop so we are going to use for loop here for message so in this uh, here you can write anything uh, you can write x also i also anything for message in encrypted messages string underscore length underscore list dot append length of message so what for loop will do it will first go to this first one first string so it will find out the length of this particular thing then it will add that length to string underscore length underscore list then it will move to the second one it will count the length of that particular string then it will add to this empty list so on it will do till the last one what we are going to do print the list of string length so we are going to so we can just print this thing directly but what i'm going to do i'm just going to print the length of this particular thing so we'll get an error i didn't run this thing so now we, we won't get any error right so why why i did this thing so to get to know you that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so then both are matching and our results will be correct only right now create a string to store the decrypted message decrypted message this is an empty string so concatenate the strings using a for loop to get your final decoded message so here we find out at the length of each string now what we are going to do for i in this thing so i stored this particular list in this stl so i in stl decrypted message equal to decrypted message plus alphabet of dict of i so what this is going to be do what this will do means here alphabet underscore dict where is that yeah here we are having so it will find out the first it will see the number for example we got something of uh, phi so it will take e like that it will do so decrypted message 
plus so what we are going to do here you can see here i means where first we will try to print this thing to get an idea what we are going to do mm. print st so first i will take 9 right so 9 means here you can see i so it will add i to the this empty string then we are having 0 0 means empty space then it will add empty space then 14 14 means n it will add n to this thing like that we are going to get this thing i need help this is a decrypted message so now we are moving to problem number three aliens receive the reply from the scientists they decode the message and send an encrypted message again due to some abrasions because of an existing very massive star one of the words from their message gets transformed into something gibberish unreadable they send the following message i saw a some gibberish thing please help me so on. so we are going to find now we are going to do the same thing <laughs> okay scientists were baffled by the presence of such an in indecipherable word in the message sent by aliens suddenly they receive another signal from them which contains the gibberish words but this time the letters have been jumbled up scientists need some sort of letters this word in alphabetical order within it get the actual transmitted word the encoded list of unknown word is so now we got the list what we are going to do jumbled word so i stored in this thing in jumbled word now i'm going to run this thing so create an empty list string underscore length underscore list this is an empty list now for, now we are going to use for loop for word in jumbled underscore word so what we are going to do we are going to find the length of this each particular string in this list as you can see here print the above list so um, first we are going to just print this above list so we got this thing now create another list to store the corresponding characters and add the characters using for loop so this is an another empty list to store the alphabets with respect to this length length of the particular string so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use again for loop for i in string underscore length underscore list remove equals to this thing empty list dot append of alphabet underscore dict of i so here i this i so 7 means g like that so it we got this thing this second one so i am just going to run this thing yeah now get the sorted list so as we so here scientists need to sort the letters of this word in alphabetical order right so that's why we are just going to sort it, sort this thing okay done sorted one is this thing now what we have to do we have to convert this into a string right so that's what we are going to do so correct word this is an empty one correct word plus join the sorted character list 
so what we are going to do so first we just created an empty string and we assigned it to an a correct underscore word here correct underscore word dot join sorted character list so here we are just going to join this thing into this an empty correct word string then we are going to print this message as you can see we got the output problem number four a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its proper divisors the smallest perfect number is six which is a sum of two three six so we can divide uh, six with one two two ones are two threes are with the three also three ones are three twos are so these are the like which are the sum of these numbers right so that's why the smallest perfect number is six based on given user input you need to print whether the input is a perfect number or not check on sample inputs so here first we are storing user inputted number into num here you can see we are using while loop so here first we are initializing sum 1 equals to 0 i equals to 1 here i less than num when i is less than the inputted number what it will do here we are using if statement if num is percentile i equals to equals to zero sum one equals to sum one plus i so then i equals to i plus one so it, this loop will continue so then sum one equals to equals to num right when this number here we initialize g zero right when this number becomes the number which we entered then the number which we entered is a perfect number so when if after finishing this loop also if that sum one is not equals to the number which we entered then it is not a perfect number so as simple as that so you just need to focus on this two lines right so here what happening the number which we entered if that is percentile of i equals to equals to zero like if it is divisible with the number which we here we are having i for example here 28 is there right so 1 is with the 1 we can completely divide 28 right 1 1's are 1 28's are right so and the first thing is first loop is finished when i becomes 2 it will check again 2 1's are 2 like 2 1's are if you say like that it will go and check and check 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 2 1's are 2 4's are like that like it will so on repeat the process again and again again and again so till it reaches maximum number like when i becomes greater than the number which we entered it will come out of the loop so then it will check this condition if this condition is true then that's a perfect number if not it's not a perfect number so we are just going to run this thing so we'll enter 128 
So 128 is not a perfect number. If we enter 6 and we'll check here, 6 is a perfect number. Now we are moving to problem number 5. Consider a famous movie line by Liam Neeson. You need to print only those words from this movie famous line whose length is greater than 3. Also the output word should be unique. You need to take care of the special characters such as comma, full stop, characters such as apostrophe will be considered to be the part of the word. Here you can see, okay, uh, this is a movie quote, remove the characters which are not to be considered. In this case, they include characters such as these two things, right? Comment, please stop. So bad characters are this thing. I stored in, in a list these characters for i in bad characters movie quote equals to movie quote dot replace this thing i dot bad characters so with so what we are going to do when this police stop or comma will come we'll just replace them with the empty space right so this loop will continue till the end, right? So what we are going to do, then we are going to print this movie quote. As you can see, now we don't have any pull stop or comma. So here we, we are just using dot replace method. So you can just focus on this thing, dot replace method. Here, convert your sentence to a list of words. So we are going to split with the space. Here you can see we are having space, right? So that's why what I'm going to do, movie code dot split with the space. Using a for loop, print the words whose length is greater than three. So whose words length is greater than 3 we are going to print them only here you can see for word in list of words so this is a list of this all words what I am going to do here I am just writing if statement length of word greater than 3 if length of this particular word is greater than 3 then words underscore v underscore want dot append word then only we are going to add that particular word into this particular empty list take only unique words so set so you can see sets contain only unique words so they don't contain any duplicate values as we learned right so that's why I'm just using set so set only takes unique words then we're going to print that here unique words as you can see we got all these unique words which are whose length is greater than 3 I'm just going to print this thing. Yeah, that's it for now. Meet you next tutorial. Bye-bye.